Hey guys, listen, I'm super high energy. I'm this high morning. energy. You I've think had, you're high uh, energy? I'm no, high I'm energy. I'm probably the highest I've guys, ever been. I just got a call from the high energy. Guys, Institute. I shot the coffee into the back of my knee. I'm on fire listen, right now. I just okay? I just pulled my car here. I didn't even have time to let it drive. Can't I didn't even I, turn it on. I just had two pints of Hagen Dazs. Hang I'm on. like, guys, fly. Let's make sure we get this episode started while we still got the gas. Ready? Here comes Smart. Oh, you already said it. Welcome to Smart. 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 Johnny, are you happy that we're on uh, day two of your uh, days off? Yes. This is your weekend right now. Monday, Tuesday is your weekend. It is. Monday, Tuesday is my weekend. It's How's so your nice. eyeball? Have you been performing? I don't know. I'm going to go back after we're done here. I'm going to go back and see if uh, my retina's detached. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but yeah. did he did he re-stick it last week? <laughs> well, I don't know. Do you got, We talked about vasovagal, right, where you get sick and you faint. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He He puts this... He puts the anesthesia in your eye and then opens it and sticks something in your eye to keep it open. This is an eye doctor or just a fellow downstairs? It's a proctologist. Yeah. <laughs> this is the guy. <laughs> um, and um, and he then he shoots lasers in your eye and it's kind of painful. Like from the hip? Yeah, he shoots from the hip. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> Yeah, and he puts little Star Wars sounds in it to make me to soothe. He me. does, huh? Pew 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 pew. Yeah, that guy's not an accredited doctor, Sean. No. But Sean, you've been no. you've been doing the show, right? Didn't you? What did you have? Like mm -hmm. one day off or two days off with the after the eye yeah, surgery? I've got Mondays and Tuesdays off. No, no, but I mean after you got your uh, your Last lasers. Week, yeah, in the you eye. Did yeah, I did the laser thing on Tuesday and had two yeah. shows the next day. You did seven shows after the laser thing. Yeah. It was did you bump into any? Any any cast members or set decoration? <laughs> no, uh, no set decoration. No, I did okay, uh, but I'm supposed to bang my head, you know, when I try to get those voices out of my head. So I cut that sure. and I just grab my head now. That's good. Not as good. Not, do not you good. do you feel like it might be a nice kind of homage if eventually you end up using your mom's eye? <laughs> uh, well, no, I'm serious because you. Well. I know that Tracy's <gasps> got it, right, Trace? I could use that. Trace, get it shined up. <laughs> I, I could get, I could finally see how my mom saw. <laughs> oh, guys. No, you're not going to have to do that. I think you're okay uh, because you made it through last week. Well, we're going to find, I know, we, I made it through one week. So we're going to find out what happens today after, after, we're, after we're done here. And then I'll, I'll let you guys know because I'm sure you'll be on the edge of your seats. Hey, quick question. Jason, are you wearing one of those those sauna sweatsuits? <laughs> yeah, it looks like things. It, are you trying to, are you trying to cut no, weight? It's just a, just a crappy, uh, overthrow you know, it's, a little, it's a little cloudy today um you know speaking of proctologists guys um oh. our next guest wait no, it's what not, it's, it's not my guest um jay me and you have the exact same glasses on today and same hair we should start a well, band you part yours in the middle no it's not meant to be in the middle it really isn't uh, you know i look like a water yak when it goes down well the we've middle. been through what it looks like in profile when it's just the outline yeah on the smartless logo i look like a dickhead yeah, you know? <laughs> a literal no. dickhead. But let's yeah. not. By the way, let's talk about our FaceTime last night, Will, for two seconds. FaceTime was Will I on it? Seconds. No. No, and he in literally never seen any human being eat this fast. He's talking, he's talking, he's talking. While I'm talking to him, he's making a sandwich. Maybe 30 seconds later, the entire sandwich is gone. It's a ham and cheese sandwich gone like that. Was it small-sized bread or something? No, it was, it was no. a big full size sandwich. bread. Yeah, big sandwich. I just hammered it in like four bites. And then he went on a hike. I, I needed fuel. To go on your hike. Mm. You know? And I went on a hike. Did you put on, did you strap on the heavy hands and the heavy ankles and walk up uh, the hills? Yeah, I wore the, I wore the uh, weight vest. And did you zip into the rubber suit? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> do, you ever, do, you ever, do you ever talk on your hike while you're on the phone? Do you ever pass anybody? Uh, what? Wait, well, what, like, like, what kind of question like, is that? Meaning, like, when you're walking and do you, do you talk to people on your hike? Because I don't like it when people are like, <laughs> so um, I do sometimes. What are you doing tonight? <sighs> and I'm like, just call me when you're done. I'll uh, roll uh, calls. I'll roll calls sometimes. Uh, when what if I'm, you got one of those? You know, they use them for motion capture, where you guys wear the helmet with the camera that's looking back at you, oh, and you could do bad. you could do FaceTimes while you you're do walking. Full FaceTime. Yeah, but you know what I mean when people are like talking to you. While I do. Hiking. Of course, I do. I'm that guy. And. Yeah. 
what happens is also is that I, that street is I will have and you don't always look the best because it's quite straight uphill and you get quite tired. Jay, we've done it before together, mm-hmm. and remember Amanda's mom used to do it every day, mm-hmm. and people go like, yeah, man, I see you. I saw you out there the other day. And I'm like thinking like, I just look like a sweaty slob. There was oh, huffing and puffing. My <laughs> way At noon not. on a weekday. Actually, you saw me there a couple of weeks ago. You pulled over. Yeah. Yeah, it but you pulled great. over. You didn't know it was me. You thought I was just a hot guy yeah. walking, <laughs> walking up the hill. That's what you. You said, "Hey, hot guy," and then you saw me. Yeah. You went, I mean, ha, 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 hey, well, I mean, ha, hi, ha, guy. Uh, hi guy, hi guy. Instead of hi guy, hi guy. Listen, hi guy. Um, this our guest is. Oh wait, need to really hear quick. Us. Sorry. Oh, yeah, go. I said. I guess, yeah, I guess our, our guest, guest does, does need. No, no, time. just really quick. One of the most embarrassing moments of my entire life. I was driving off the NBC lot. This is decades ago. And there was this really good looking guard. And I rolled down and a friend of mine was in the car with me. And I looked back just as I passed him and I went like that. Ew. And the guard, I noticed the guard saw me do that. And all of him and the five other guards were laughing so hard because they knew it was me that checked him out. I was so embarrassed. That's my story. Well, we always need something to cut. Will, your guess? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why? That's pretty good. I don't know if you're going to want to cut that. All the way there and no destination. <laughs> um, so I tell you who never gets cut. Oh, oh great. Is Sam our guest way. today. This person Long is hair? not going to get. Because you're going to want to see this person. And the people who hire this person want this person to be in every frame of oh. everything they do. Because oh. this is somebody who has been in many frames for many years. This is a person who's done the, it really run the gamut. Started in New York, first professional job was an understudy. The Queen. Uh, yeah, and then, and then moved into TV, did the whole thing, paid her dues in TV, guest stars, on all the biggest shows and pilots and shows that lasted three episodes and six episodes and Fran then nothing. And then got a show that clicked and clicked Fran in the Drescher. biggest way that it. people, it's not Fran Drescher, clicked in the way that people just loved and couldn't get enough of. Ooh, I can't and guess what it. happens when you do that? What people happened? start saying, we need to put you into our film. And boy, uh, did she start doing films. Big, oh. huge commercial films. Big, huge, uh, uh, award-nominated and winning films. This person has done it all. You're not saying all anything. All while being a mom to three kids and maintaining a consistency over time, which is really the mark of somebody who's incredible. Uh-oh. Guys, I haven't Uh-oh. given it away yet, but you know her from Alias. You loved her in Daredevil. You knew her in Pearl Harbor. Is this you liked Garner? her yesterday. It's Jennifer Garner. The Jen Garner. <sighs> Look at her. Oh, no, no, she's oh, she back down. Her back up. <laughs> she's back up. Look at Hi. her go. Hello. Hi. I usually Hi. have a baseball. Go- okay, wait a minute. Okay. Jennifer Garner. Yeah, you always have a hat on. So I, I always do. To, yeah. You, Guys. me, and Jason have the exact same glasses frames on right now. Oh. Listener, we've had a lot of nice people on this show. Sure. None as nice as Jen. Baby, is... I'm so happy to see you. Hi, guys. I got so nervous. Do people get nervous when you're when you're about to introduce them? No, I it have. Gave me a I little have, like. I have a runny tummy right now. <laughs> Always. Well, let's not. Uh, no, I, people do. I think that I don't know if people get nervous, but <laughs> but I think that nerves are always a good sign. Uh, that okay, means great. That, uh, means you're of a, ready. Of a real means person. Going to be a great set. It Let's means go. that you're in the moment. Uh, hi, Jennifer Garner. We've never met before. Really? I know. That is yeah. so weird to me because yeah. I really remember you from the Venice days and the yeah. Yeah. the whole, yeah, your whole compound. Yeah, the yeah. whole, I was in the compound with everybody who was in yes. your show. Wait, yeah. you guys have never Wait, met? What compound? I know. Isn't that weird? When I was living out with Bradley, Bradley mm-hmm. and I were in the back yeah. and, Ron and Ron Rifkin and, and, Iva. and Iva were in the front. Yeah. 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 And where were you, Jen? How could you never meet if you guys were that close? I I would kind of skulk around to try to avoid him. But yeah. um, <laughs> wait, were you living? In, you were living in the same building, Jen? No, no, I wasn't. It's just all, like Ron and Iva, Ron Rifkin and his yeah. wife were in one part of this compound, and yeah. they Ron was on Alias. He played Sloan, and Bradley Cooper was there. Right. Um. So then, so when Transpo was uh, driving the van in the morning, picking up all the <laughs> cast members. 
you're surprised. Oh, you must not you... have seen the show. No, 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 it wasn't that kind of. This, this is... Sometimes I saw Will taking out the garbage, but. Yeah. By the way, I yeah. didn't take out the garbage. That's why Ron got mad at me. Do you know that story? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm it. not surprised. I, I, I thought that's why you brought it up. I you don't want Ron Rifkin running after Ron, you. Ron, uh, I used to, we were, sh I guess, working on Arrested Development at the time, and, and I was never there first thing in the morning on Monday morning, whatever it was, or Thursday mornings. And at this point, Bradley moved out, and Robbie Bates had moved uh, into Bradley's place. Right, right, right. Right? right? Mm -hmm. So Robbie was there, and I go, and all of a sudden, like, Ron was kind of, I go, I think Ron's mad at me because I haven't taken the trash out because I don't get. Why is it your job? <laughs> I, it was anybody's job, whoever could do it. But Ron would do it right at 5 p.m. The moment you're allowed to put it out the night before, yeah, he would put it out. And I'm like, I didn't get home till 7, 8 o'clock from work. So I think he's mad at me. And Robbie's like, oh, you're reading into it. You're being crazy. I'm like, okay. And like two months later. <laughs> Uh, uh, Fist two on the hip. Later, who was it who I saw? I saw. Fist on the hip. I saw somebody, um, and they said to me, "Oh, I ran, I ran into Ron Rifkin at a party, and he says that you never take the trash out." I said, "I knew it," and I said to Robbie, "I'm like, who's crazy now?" <laughs> All right, if we do, if we don't cut me, you don't want that um, story. Out the NBC guard. You don't want the Ron Rifkin trash the, the, story. The people I just love listen to it in double time. See, Jen, there's nothing to be nervous about. We don't let you get a word in edgewise. <laughs> it's we perfect. just like talking. Wait, it's Jennifer Garner, everybody. Yeah. By the way, the, you're the most delicious person. You're so. Sweet and kind. Yeah. What's with the 1950s uh, uh, microphone? I don't know. This just came. Are you, you, your, your lovely guys sent it. We sent it over. Um, so Jennifer Garner and and I was again. Can I? Mm -hmm. I can call. Can I call you Jen? Yeah, unless you're going to use the whole thing. I mean, and does anybody call you Jenny? No, very few people. There's a first AD that I love who calls me Jenny. Like people like that. Just yeah. random people in my life. But I, I never mind. But well, you call uh, Aniston Jenny sometimes. I, I always find it very cute. I think it's very, very affectionate. Yeah, no yeah. I like Jenny, Jenny as a nickname for Jen. Yes, yeah. on a, in a weird way. But I was, I didn't grow up as a Jenny. But I bet Jen Aniston would agree with me that we. Um, you know, why weren't we named, like, Savannah or, right. I don't know, <laughs> Ireland or something? Savannah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I also call, Jason, I also call your wife Mandy, and nobody else calls her Mandy, but That's I like true. calling her Mandy. Yeah. But, but so, Jen, I want to go, I want to go way back, because I love okay. your, I love your trajectory. It's so great. And I mentioned it in the lead-in uh, when I was reading about you that... Um, all the frames. Yeah, well, yeah, all the I, time. I, I also, I felt very similar in that, like, I could, under, when I looked at all the stuff that you did and the shows that got canceled and the three episodes and this stuff, I, that was my pain for so many years as well. You had all these near misses. You think like, oh, this is the, I'm so excited about this show. And then this before you the know one. it. Yeah, this is the one before you know, and JB, you know what it's like too. I mean, oh my God. All of a sudden it's gone. Yeah. And you're like, mm -hmm. I remember I did a movie. My first like movie movie was Mr. Magoo with um, starring Leslie Nielsen as Mr. Magoo. Oh my God, and, I remember that. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you do. I do. Um, and when it was coming out, I knew so little that I thought, well, I guess I get to go to the Oscars this year because I'm in a movie. <laughs> like, I seriously was like, well, I get guess. Get a dress. I better get ready. <laughs> I better go yeah. shopping. No. Hey, is it true that Leslie Nielsen, every day of his life, uh, walked around with a little fart machine in his pocket? He did. There was a fart machine. Oh, my yeah. God. There I was a fart machine. I think that's so mm -hmm. awesome. That'd be good. There's also this guy, and I can't remember who it was. Wait, or there wasn't a machine, but there was farting. <laughs> oh, another. Maybe there say, wasn't a fart machine. I was going to say, Jay doesn't need a machine. Yeah. There's a guy, I feel like, it's not Jeffrey Tambor, but it's somebody like that, equally hilarious, that oh, his bit his whole life is to walk around with a little bit of loose change in his pocket and he just drops it as he walks by people. <laughs> right? Why? Isn't that just like, well, That's just so because mean. you can't help but go, oh, sir, you, you know, like you just keep walking. You it's just a drop fun bit. Loose change. It's it a great keeps bit. it fun. So, uh, so first, so you're you're shopping for the Oscars uh, after Mr. Magoo. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's another great bit. Just say that like in an elevator. Just, Out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Willie. So, oh, so you you're ready to go to the Oscars after Mr. Magoo. Mm -hmm. um, what was the thing? <laughs> what what had you done before Mr. Magoo? Had you had done a bunch of shows before then? What was the first? And by the way, weren't you a theater nerd too? Yeah, I was a theater nerd. Um, well, let's go. Let's just let's go back let's then, start, Will. Let's, um, let's go back. Yeah, you started as a you you weren't a theater major to to begin with. Is that true? 
Um, correct. I was a chemistry major. What? Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Do, are you still, do you have like that kind of the brain that loves that still? No, no, no. I don't think I had it then. I just think my dad was a chemical engineer. He's a retired chemical engineer. And I come from a chemistry town. Like it was Union Carbide, Dow, DuPont. Um, wow. yeah. yeah, there are like five people left. No, not really. I, do you have a like a, do oh, you have the a drinking a, water must be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's all different colors, rainbow flavors. <laughs> sure. Do you have a sci-fi brain though? That Do you, do you like sci-fi because of Alias and all that or no? No. Mm-mm. All right. No. Well, you don't have to be. I, um... I, no, I'm just thinking. Like you would think that, but no, I just. Uh... <laughs> Your girls aren't taking chemistry yet, are they? Franny's taking chemistry. I don't know. Oh my how gosh, she's doing it. my daughter's a junior. Yes. So yeah. then she is. Yes. She's, yeah. Or she's, she's done with chemistry. Yeah. How How old are yours? Franny's 16 and Maple is 11. Oh wow. Okay. I have 16, 14, and 11. Are you helping out with chemistry at all? No. 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 No, you don't. You didn't retain any of it. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I mean, truly, I can't help with that homework of that of my high school junior. Not yeah. even. No. I can hardly. What about read math? It. What about math? She had no. her AP, my, her BC Calc AP, whatever her exam That's yesterday. Yeah, it's so we'll never no, use. yeah, we'll yeah, never definitely. Use. Yeah, Derivative, like I don't even. Yeah. When's the last time you dealt with a parabola? You know what I mean. Uh, well, I'm, today, I, feel, I mean, <laughs> what time? I feel like I feel like we really shouldn't have to do it, Jason. I haven't seen you in a long time. I know, you know. I know. Remember when we used to work together, like once yeah. every like eight or nine months? Yeah, remember when yeah. we we worked together all the there. time? You guys did Juno. We did, we did Juno. Juno. What else? But kingdom? before that, we did the Kingdom. Oh, you did the Kingdom, of course. And what was Kingdom before Juno? Kingdom was before didn't Juno. We, didn't we do a third thing together? We did, and I always forget, and I actually looked. It up because we didn't have scenes together. That's why. Oh, uh, it was um, the Ricky Gervais. Thing. It was invention of lying. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that movie. So yeah. you become this. You become a theater nerd. You're at Denison. You switch majors. You don't want to be a mm-hmm. chemical engineer. You become. You're working on the sets. You're doing all this stuff. You blah 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 blah. And then what? You're like, all right, I graduate. I'm out of here, and I'm gonna go and work all the time. Okay. So then I I worked at a Shakespeare festival in Atlanta, Georgia, the summer after I graduated. Hmm. And while we were there, there was a musical because I really I loved musicals, and yeah. um, there was a musical, a new version of what's it called, uh, Taming of the Shrew. Okay. No. Okay. What is Taming Taming of the Shrew? Is the name of the which is Kiss Me Kate. There's Kiss Me Kate, but yeah. apparently there needed to be another one. So it was called Dancing with the One I Love. And so okay. that show was taken to a, a theater in a strip mall in Fort Lauderdale. Sure. Called the Brian C. Smith Off Broadway Theater. Uh-huh. And um, I. <laughs> uh-huh. We're still with <laughs> you. This is, this is next to TurboTax. It, right? it, yeah. it literally was. It was shut down for tax evasion <laughs> later. Oh, but, no. um, sure. But I went down with that show and um, performed there. And I was there as a non-equity performer because I had I had been hiding from my equity card because I could work more, you know? Yeah, right. Um, so I was working as a non-equity performer. So I didn't have, they didn't have to put me up. So in exchange for being someone's roommate, I was in charge of the laundry for the entire cast. And there were Oof. 35 men. Oof. We did eight shows a week. So I Horrible. washed and ironed all there. But I got really good at ironing. No way! Uh, wow. Yeah, I did all of every, all of the washing, drying, all of the, all the dry I can't cleaning. Can't touch anyone's dirty clothes. I love dirty clothes. It can't, oh, I can't. I, I want to iron your your little poncho so badly. What if your hand goes in the wrong spot. You know? Oh gosh! <laughs> How like, dirty I, I can gotta, it be? You got to look for the waistband. Grab that. Oh my god! <laughs> do you love that? Of all like of all household chores, you love ironing. Like calm. Like do you love that? I have a friend that loves. Ironing. Yeah, I get that. I got really into it at the time. I was so I just ironed all <laughs> I ironed all the time. Yeah. So yeah. I used I, to be one of my chores on the weekends. I just learned everything. a new a new hack is to if you have like rings on a wood on, on a wood table, yeah. mm. something like that, and you put like a just a damp towel on it and you iron it and it'll bring the uh, the the ring mark off. Who Maybe you guys already that? Oh my god. I learned I learned it on the TikTok. Hey, so listen YouTube shorts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, YouTube sh- uh, short shorts. They're called, <laughs> they're called uh, culottes. So, um, so Jen, so you're you're in Florida. You're doing a ton of laundry and and, and Hollywood I was in calls. I was doing I was doing a ton of laundry, <laughs> and after it was over, I was driving north uh, 
to audition for... Back to Georgia. From, yeah. I was driving up north to audition for Utah Shakespeare for the next summer. And when I was on my way there, I met a casting director in Philadelphia at a restaurant, and he said, you should, um, you should come and read for this little movie. Anyway, I ended up in New York for a couple of days, and while I was there, I went on an audition, and I, I actually, I opened the backstage, I went on a bunch of auditions, and because I was so green and so fresh off the bus, like West Virginia girl, I just mm-hmm. got everything that day that I went on. They were all these little non-equity <laughs> jobs. It was wow. just one of those days, you know, where yeah. it's just like, it's my first day in New York. Hi, uh-huh. y'all. I'd hire you right <laughs> now based on this interview. It's <laughs> yeah. unbelievable, right? Yeah. <laughs> So somebody said, you should meet an agent. I met this agent. She said, I want to send you to um, to a, the roundabout to see if you could get an understudy job. And so anyway, then I did. And then I started working at Isabella's. Do you remember Isabella's? On the southeast corner of 77th Street and Columbus Avenue. Yes. That's a bar? Yes, I do. A yeah. restaurant? Yeah. yeah, it was across from the Natural Museum of History. That, yes, I know yeah. Isabella's. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever wow. get loaded in there, Will? I sure did. Um, but that was a that was a different well, lifestyle. So, what, f- how quickly after that were you back on the bus out to Hollywood? Um, a few years, because I yeah. had never. I only wanted to do theater. Right. And uh, and you have this like amazing singing voice that not a lot of people know that you have, but you do. No. That yes. was the. But so that was the dream to do musicals on Broadway, ne- never to go out to Hollywood. I mean, it was just to be in theater. I didn't really. Right. I mean, I love. Dancing. I don't really have a voice that could be a professional singing voice unless it's like the range from, you know, here to here. But Broadway um, quality. Yeah, I don't have yeah. like a Broadway voice. But um, I have a karaoke voice. We've done karaoke, uh. sort of <laughs> fancy karaoke. But anyway, um, yeah, then I was, I was super broke and I had a, just finally auditioned for a TV thing this agent sent me on. And she said, well, they want to test you for this, but it... And I said, I'm understudying right now. And she said, they'll give you $150 a day cash per diem. And I so badly needed that cash. I was so broke that I um, came to L.A. to test for something. And I got that job. And it was to play um, Melissa Gilbert's daughter in a... um, a Daniel Steele miniseries. So yeah, then I did my that. God. Yeah. Oh my God. I was God. up for the same part. Wow. <laughs> wow. I love Melissa Gilbert was one of my first crushes. Yeah, you, no. You guys are yeah. so you guys are so tied to each other because I was just thinking, Jay, you worked with Melissa Gilbert on Little House. Little yes, House. sir. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> that's, that's when right. things all started to happen uh, for me. Testosterone. Yeah. I kept my calling her Laura. I remember in hair and makeup, I kept calling her Laura. <laughs> 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 Did you really? Yeah. yeah. She taught me everything. I'd never been in front of. I'd never been in front of a camera. I'd never paid attention to any of it. She taught me what a call sheet was, who to talk to for things. She taught me about the camera turning around. I had no. I was totally clueless. Oh she was God. really that's good so, to me. That's so sweet. That's yeah. so nice. Uh, did you guys? Did you stay connected with her at all yeah. after? Yeah, yeah, you did. I, yeah, I have. Mm-hmm. You know she's in she's in uh, uh, government and politics in yeah. Michigan. Yeah, I, I had a fundraiser for her. Yep. Married to Timothy Busfield. Yeah, very happily. The great really? Timothy Busfield. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Couple of gingers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Found each other. Well, sure. my son's a ginger, so I always have a I always have a soft spot. One of my sweet sons sweet is. ginger. Mm-hmm. Sweet Abel. Um, so so you do the movie with um, now you've and then she's taught you everything you need to know about showbiz in half. So an then hour. I'm in. So now you're no, in. No, then I went back to New York, and I was still, you know, and I would, every time I would get some kind of play, I would be so broke, I would get, like, an episode of Law & Order or, a, or a, mm-hmm. yeah. some dumb thing, and I would have to, I would take that job because I needed that top Will, of Well, you show. did Law & Order, right? I did. I did. Scale uh, plus 10. Scale plus 10. You're just plus so 10, stoked. Baby. But also, so you're stoked. working in the city. And as you know, yeah. like you, like you're working in the city, you're so excited that you get to shoot in the city and you end up like shooting on, you're like, I was just here yesterday buying milk and now I'm here shooting, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're uh-huh. so It's so crazy, isn't it? Yeah. When yeah. you're, when you first are drive or going up somewhere and you see like, you know, big caravans and a whole set in a base camp and you're like, wow, there's a movie shooting there. And you're yeah. like, wait a minute, that's me. Did yeah. you, do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh. I still feel that way a little bit. I still bit. get like, that I way, still, yeah, totally. Driving up to a location and just seeing mm-hmm. all the trucks, it's like, yeah. oh. Yeah, because oh. I remember like moving to Los Angeles for the first time seeing that and like just waiting tables and you're like, that'd be so cool. What are they filming over there? I'd yeah. love yeah. to be a part of it. 
Yeah. yeah. How did how did so so right off the bus from West Virginia? You're in New York. You're very green. How did that? How how did you find the city? Was it was it scary or did you adapt immediately? I was pretty happy. I mean, I I just I really went right into it. I just would pay my $20 to stand at the back of the Broadway house to watch sh every show that I could by myself like this. And I would go to museums and I, I mean, I just was, a t I was nerding out. So you weren't going to the discos and the bars and the... No, you know. I wasn't doing any of that. But I, my mom always told me that the more people you make eye contact it, with and smile at during this day on the street, like strangers, the, the happier oh you are as a person. So, Mistake. oh, the cuckoo clock, sorry. But, um, so as I was walking Does down Does that go street, off every time you quote something cuckoo your mom said? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it would be very busy. Wait, Quiet. Wait, wait, by the way, of by the way, Jen, there's a, That there, was cuckoo. There's a lot of wisdom in that because I like that your mom said that. And I was just listening to a thing today because it is it, it lends itself to uh, the cuckoo clock's amazing. Can we get locations on the cuckoo clock? Uh, yeah. Um, I wish Melissa Gilbert had told you about uh, yeah. sound while we're rolling. Yeah, i with that. Cuckoo. So there's a, there's a lot of wisdom in that. I like this idea that it's kind of, you know, you get what you put out there. And so, and I think that that's true. If you go out and you make eye contact and you smile at people and you kind of, you, you project joy, you're going to get joy coming back yeah. your way. Right, okay, but when you first moved to New York... Well, that's crazy. Yeah, no, that that's insane. That is very yeah. hard on, on the population of New York. It's I very agree. tiring. I was like, hi, hi, how you doing? Nice day. That's true. I like your shoes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was yeah. a lot. I was, yeah. a, I was a lot. Well, they were a lot for me. You can't compliment people's shoes in New York. <laughs> but but when you're, where was your first apartment? Do you remember what part of the city? Yeah, um, I lived on a woman's kitchen floor on 85th and Broadway. Wow. Mm -hmm. She had a studio, but the kitchen was kind of its own alcove, and I had a little futon and my suitcase for nine months. Wow, like a puppy. What year What year yeah, like was that, puppy. do you think? Do you, like a puppy. What year was that? 94. You? Okay. Why were you on 85th and... Uh, no, I was. I lived at, I lived at 87th and West End uh, with five other people. That was like 90, 91, and then uh, by 92, I was living on the upper... East side in uh, in a railroad apartment with two other yeah, dudes. Yeah, yeah. Wait, are we? Are I'm we on uh, um, Jen. I'm on 81st and Broadway right now. Oh no way! No yeah. way! Anyway, huh. Who cares? Wait. So, so, um, so that's so, a nice so. apartment. Is that your apartment? Yeah, it's brand new. And all he does is watch TV in there. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so so you do this now. You're living there. You're living in New York, and you and you're doing some. You're doing Law and Order. You're doing Spin City. Uh, kind of go go back and watch your Spin City episode. Yeah, you do. Um, I'm and shocked then, that you haven't. I know, I know. And then, and then, how, where does Alias fall into all of this? Like, yeah. well, sorry, you meet J.J. Abrams because you do Felicity. Yes, so a few years go by, and it's, I had been working probably seven years by the time I met J.J. and did Felicity and Alias. And how'd you meet J.J.? I just auditioned for Felicity for a guest spot. Oh, gotcha. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then it's like he remembered you. But I, I had heard, and JJ's a friend of the show, so he's listening. I had heard <laughs> that not. you, um, that he wrote Alias with you in mind. He did. I know. Isn't that cool? He gave it to yeah. me, and I stood in one spot in my kitchen and read the pilot. I didn't even move. I was so, wow, it was, it's still, so cool. I think it's, it's the best pilot, I think. That's awesome. He's such an incredible director. Too. Yeah, it turns great, out. Yeah, it's such yeah. a great. Yeah. It, it is a great pilot, and it was, and it was a, it was a great show, and you're great on it. And um, I, I, just I, his general energy. I mean, it's pretty infectious. Yeah. It's so positive. Yeah, he's, he's he gives you his full attention. He's yeah. super sincere. I, I just you, you, there's not a lot. Like and is him. that where you met our lovely Victor Garber that we have in common? Yes, that is yes. where I met our lovely Victor Garber. Although I'd been a big fan of his, I'd seen him in art. I'd seen him in um, everything. The one with Billy Crudup that started with an A at Lincoln Center. It's you know the one I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah, Arcadia. Arcadia. Thank you. Yeah. When, whenever we have dinner, uh, whenever Victor and I got to dinner, he's a very close friend of both yours and mine. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and um, I'll he was always... at your uh, premiere party. Or your opening yes, night? Yes, he was at yeah. the premiere. Mm -hmm. Opening night. And um, any time we go out to dinner, I'll always say super, super loud, Oh my God, were you in Titanic? 
And everybody <laughs> looks and he's, you motherfucker, fuck you, buddy, fuck, fucking asshole. Fucking everyone's looking you. for Leonardo DiCaprio. Did you guys see him in Godspell? Yes. With Martin Short and um, and every other Canadian actor. Every Canadian actor. Show. And they're all still super close, that entire cast. They know, are it's, really, it's like 40 years I later. I love that. Wait, am I showing my dumbness by wondering why you're, why would they all be Canadians? It all really started this. There was like so. Godspell was this thing on Broadway. It was a huge sensation. Wait, wait, Jen, Jen. Before I, I hate to interrupt you, but I have to. Jason, we've had at least five members of that production on the podcast who have <laughs> yeah. talked about the fact that they were all in that production. No <laughs> recollection at all. I just thought maybe Godspell was written by a Canadian. It's a Canadian story, and no. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, Jesus. It turns out was a Canadian. <laughs> Everyone knew it. You so heard wait, it here. Jesus is in Godspell? <laughs> oh my God! Oh yeah, my I, God! What, uh, Godspell's not one word. Uh, or is it two words? <laughs> How do you spell? How do you spell God? Um, so so uh, G A W D. Uh, oh my God! Victor, and you know I used to see Victor too back in the Alias days through yeah. Bradley all the time. Yeah, yeah, and we would have dinner uh, out on the West Side um, with that little. Me and the rest of the cast of Alias all the time because Bradley was on Alias. Mm -hmm. I felt like a sort of an eighth member of the cast, if you will. You were. No, you won't. You, you won't. No, mm -hmm. you won't. Um, so, so Alias comes about, and then I remember the time when Alias came out, and it was so good, and it was so kick-ass, and there was so much written about. First of all, you just you were the lead of this show, and you were a kick-ass lead too. Yeah. Like yeah. you, you just kind of, it's like you were shot out of a cannon and you were beating fools up and uh, <laughs> knocking people out and karate chopping heads and doing shit and like all this spy stuff. And I remember the stories about you, your training regimen and how insane it was at the time. I still think about it to this day sometimes. I, I, I'm going to admit to you something. Uh -oh. I think about it sometimes when I think about getting up and working out before work and I'll think mm. about... You, the stories of you are embedded in my mind, and I don't know you working out before doing Alias. I swear to God. That is really Wait, funny. you would work out before shooting 12 hours a day? Yeah, I would, because, because <laughs> Carl Lumley, who was on the show, I started saying, like, it's so hard for me to keep a workout. Our hours were so insane, and I said, and I need to be warmed up, and I just can't seem to get it all done. And he... Um, is such a stately, gorgeous man and a theater actor and somebody I just respect so much. And at the time, like, I had all these, I had Ron, I had Victor, and I had Carl all on the show. So I was looking up to them so much for anything. And Carl said, you can always do half an hour. You just <laughs> set your clock. Just get up and do it. Yeah. You can always do it. And yeah. so I, from that day, I was just like, oh, Okay, then I will. And so just no matter what, I would crank my clock earlier, 3.45, you know, I would, go, I would do anything to show up to work warmed up because there was so much action and I never, I didn't know what when things were going to happen and I just, I wanted to be ready for whatever. Right. Now I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, like a six and an occasional five, but I don't. You know, not really. But isn't it uh -huh. depressing how much harder it is to stay in shape as we get older? I mean, it's almost like it doubles the amount of time you have to spend at it almost every I year. I remember you solidly running six or seven miles every never, day. It, it never helped. Never helped. It's still, <laughs> it really I'm running did. like I'm being chased. I also remember you spinning upside down in a car and just... Losing and then it you, on the I remember you. Room. Who were you pregnant with um, when you threw uh, up? Um, was it uh, Violet? No, me? you already had I, I was I was nursing. That was the issue. Oh, it was oh, so oh, hot oh, where oh. we were shooting the kingdom. Like we were yeah. in Arizona and it was August and September and yeah. 120 on asphalt. And we were wearing big boots and hats and bulletproof vests. And um, mm -hmm. we, I went, that's the only time, knock on wood, I've ever had to go to the hospital during shooting. I would get yeah. so dizzy I couldn't see. Fully and it, I was nursing. I should have, you know. No way. But yeah. I see, but I, but on your Instagram, I see like you working out all the time. It's so inspiring. Like, first of all, what your mom, you work constantly, you work out, you're doing all these things. I see you do so many things. Like, is there, I ask this question a lot because I find it fascinating. Is there a thing or a person? that inspired you to be ambitious and to, to, to have this drive? Like, where does that come from to just do all of these things? 
I don't know, but don't you feel like you get older and you look around and there are people you admire and just like that moment with Carl, like something just like makes you realize, oh, I can do that. I can reach mm-hmm. for I can go harder. I can reach for that. I can be yeah, more. Yeah, why not you? Jen, yeah, you're my yeah. Carl. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so glad. I'll <laughs> see you at, let's set the alarm. <laughs> let's yeah. FaceTime. You can But when me. you were younger, was there like a family member or a person where you just like something clicked in your head and you're like, wait a minute, I like how they live their life. I like how they uh, kind of make the decisions they've made. Mm. I mean, I, I don't know. I have pretty great parents. Like, they just... Yeah. I'm pretty great. Yeah. Do you find that your children are, are as motivated as you were at that age? They are, each of them, in their own ways. Yeah. The hard thing is that you think it's going to be your ways. And right. um, their ways are things I could never do and um, mm. are... <laughs> they're amazing, but they are not... They keep forgetting to be me. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Do you? Well, they because it is fun watching. Like, them. do you find? Do you, well, Sean. Do you find your dad? Oh, oh period. Sorry. Stop. Period. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was just it. Oh um, <laughs> just that one question. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, but it is funny watching your, your our kids, uh, and this kind of goes out to to everybody. Like watching our kids have go about it a different way th- than we went about it. Yeah. And, you, and I constantly find myself wanting to say like, hey man, uh, maybe if you, and then I just go, no, 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 it's okay. He's going to do it his yeah. own way. I can, I'm just here to kind of act as bumpers on either side to keep them within a certain range. Well, that's interesting though, because my, because of the way I was, we were raised and my dad left early, that old story. Because of that, my two brothers who have kids are phenomenal dads wow they're amazing yeah i mean it doesn't always go that way though that's right but i mean way. that was the inspiration to be a great dad can i tell you, you know? something that happened the other night that i that i found really nice uh i was with uh jason and amanda and maple who's 11 now Mape, yeah. right yeah and we were just talking about something and Mape was so honest and comfortable in this way and whatever we all spend a lot of time so when she told you to shut your mouth when she said shut your <laughs> shut your stupid mouth <laughs> your stupid canadian mouth she yeah said, you were yeah. saying something dumb and, it, and i've been trying to keep from her that i'm canadian for a long time no but she said um we started talking about something and she was really candid with you guys and with us in this way that felt that i i really i kind of loved it was such a reflection of you and amanda And I love seeing that in kids Mm -hmm, when they mm -hmm. feel this level of comfort to share and be able to speak openly. I think that's so important. That's really rare. And it was, and it was, it was really heartwarming. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. That's it. Uh, Thank you for saying that. I, I, I'm always surprised at how little children really take from the parents. This whole question of nature versus nurture, and I think I've hammered this one before, but. You know, for whenever somebody says something nice about my kids, it's my instinct to deflect anyway. But um, I, I do think it is them. It is nature. It's not nurture. I think you can affect your kid probably 5% left or right, you know. But for the most part, mm. you get what you get. Because, like, you know, Jen, I'm sure you've got, you've, got, you've got three to compare against. I've only got two where they're same parents, same, same roof, same upbringing and they're wildly different. So there it is. Wow, you know, it's it's so it's not and, nurture. And from the minute they were born too, like their yeah. personalities were already yeah. intact. That's why yeah. I don't have kids. I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and have them killing me. Right? You, yeah. Well, yeah. Exactly. You yeah. could you could have an axe murderer and you'd <laughs> mm-hmm. have nothing to do with it. You know what yeah. I'm it's like, well, you Sean just get what recognizes you get. that if, if he had other that they would want to kill him, and I think yeah. that <laughs> that is a great. Re- That's but, Jen, what true. do you find now that we're on this? What do you find? It has. What do you find challenging as a parent? And I know the list is long because as a, I have three kids as well. But doing what you do, and again, our jobs are no, lots of people have very busy jobs no matter what it is you do. If you work in an office or you work outside yeah. or whatever it is you do. But what, do, what are the challenges that you find? Our job is just a selfish job, honestly. Yeah. You know, it's really, it's not, it, it, even in the best of circumstances, we're really like, well, it's all about me right now. I'm in production and I've got to go to bed or I've got to, yeah. I can't be there because my production this, my, you know, and it's like, or that doesn't, that's too. not the way, and the travel, and that's not the way kids' lives work. If something is happening for them, it's happening for them and you're missing yeah. it. And that's, yeah. that's yeah. basically it. Um, 
so there's so much, I mean, there's so much challenging, like teenagers and what they all have to absorb and go through. And, you know, if you like, when I go to my kids' schools and I'm there, I have three kids at three schools. Oh my and God. when I go and I see the energy swirling around and the kids chattering and arguing and back and forth and what's important and like struggling for hierarchy, I just think, oh my gosh, it's so exhausting. I forget what they've been through by the time they come home every day. Right. Yeah. What, right. what yeah. do you do about the, what do you do about the social media? media stuff uh, this goes out again to everybody but Jen what do you do about the social media stuff with your kids because I, I find it challenging well so far and yeah. I say because I it feels like like I like there's judgment inherent in what I'm saying and there isn't it's just so far I have not I don't have kids on social media like Great. traditional Instagram TikTok all that stuff yeah I don't wow, know totally you. everything they're on so um you know, I could be totally wrong. They yeah, could, there's some they workarounds could, there. <laughs> there are plenty of workarounds, but they're not checking for likes and That's they're yeah, not right. posting themselves. And yes. um, I think, you know, your rules are very different for your first than they are for your third. Yeah. So don't hold me to it, but th that is kind of my goal. I just say to them, guys, show me the evidence that it's good for a teenage brain. Just right, yeah. show Good it to point. me. And then, you know, some people say, well, my kids really, um, that's how they converse. They converse over Snapchat or whatever. So far, I've been able to avoid it. And, you know, we'll just keep down that, you know, and Ben and I are on the same page about it. We'll just keep down that road as best we can. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying for the same thing or sort of a, a limited version that's rare. of it all. Um, I want to go back to, um, for a second, because, you know, one of my stock questions, the theater... I need like a, a terrible theater story that you have, like a favorite horrible something that went wrong or a horrible like set that something happened on a set. Mostly theater stories. <laughs> He's just looking at check boxes. Here, or Jen. any kind of personal tragedy. <laughs> any sort of personal, big regret, something embarrassing. <laughs> something, God. No, I like, I think theater stories are, theater stories that go wrong are hysterical. <laughs> Unearthed trauma would be They're funny. super relatable. So, yeah. I mean, um, I, I run when I, like, I basically, my instinct, like, I just have a lot of, Urgh! and so I run onto stage or I run, you know, like I just do. So um, I was doing Cyrano at the Richard Rogers with yeah. um, Mr. Klein, Kevin Klein. It, wow. was, it was heaven. It was wonderful. Wow. But I got into a spell where I fell at some point every night. And no. there was this, the back, the upstage was this huge staircase that was like two stories straight down, fully exposed. And I would come like, duk, 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 like really fast. It was so fun. Oh, so I go, do, do, do. And the last 10 steps, go, 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 on the elbow, or <laughs> I would fall in the fifth act, or I'd fall at the curtain call. I just. Once you, once I started, I couldn't get my feet back under me. <laughs> and people would say to me, hey, I saw you in Sierra. Oh, man, you were amazing. You know, I was there the night you fell. It was every night. <laughs> and I had yeah. to be like, mm. Did you start padding up? I yeah, mean, I should have. You know when, like, yeah. when stunt doubles take a stair fall and they're like, well, I put a powder puff under my wig. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you did you end up coming up with a funny line at the bottom of your tuck and roll every I, night? No, or? because it's it was so... It was so serious. You can't, you know, yeah, you just have so to. Serious. Oh, yeah, it was so serious. Oh, my God. Thanks. Serious, no, yes. I, I want to know about, Jen, I, I love you mentioned Kevin Klein. He's one of those guys that I've always admired and think is yeah. so great. What was that yeah. like? I've, I've never oh my gosh. come close to the guy, and I've just. Uh, I don't think any of us have. Have you guys no. ever seen yeah. him out? Never, well, not once. And I lived in New York for 20 years. I never saw him. He lives way up on the Upper East Side. Um, he's still, he's married to Phoebe. Kate, yeah. they, yeah. they I've are. I've never seen them out, ever. Um, they are, they're like king and queen of their yeah. neighborhood. He has a big show on Apple coming out, I think, um, oh, that they shot in London. Anyway. He is the most literate. He's one of those people that is just always taking yeah. in art. He's always reading. Yeah. He's al there's always a play in his mm -hmm. in his back pocket or something. There's just he's always taking in poetry and using it as a reference and mm -hmm. it makes you kind of panic. Yeah. You got to get <laughs> him on the show. Of course he is. No wait, he's my idol. So wait, Jen. With everything that you've done, everything that you've accomplished, is there something is there a role or a thing or something you're like, "You know what? I Always wanted blank. I've never gotten it. I still want it. This work was for kind it. of it, guys. I'm, you know, I'm a friend Smart of the pod. I'm, yeah, yeah, sure. This was <laughs> kind of it. I, I'm All a right. listener. Um, I, oh, guys, when you had that um, Simon 
Steinbrenner. Laban? Yeah. Laban from Duran Duran. Oh, that was I know. Cool. Yeah, he's very cool. He's very cool. It's like that Chris that. Farley um, Saturday Night Live uh, talk show. Hey, that remember cool. when you guys had um, one. Duran Duran on? That was cool. <laughs> no, do, you know what? When my kids go to college, I keep, um, you know, I feel like it's healthy to have something you're looking forward to besides yeah. just panicking. Yeah. So I think I want to go to New York and try to be, you know, there's always like a little old lady in a musical. Yeah, sure. like, that, that's my dream. When the girls go yeah. off to college, it's time to go to New York and try theater. Do it. Yeah. Right? I'll see you there. What do you want to do? I'll do, I'll, let's do it together. L we'll just do, we'll start with love letters. Um, <laughs> Great. Right? Sean, is that, that's why a good you one? To... Re, why don't you reimagine the odd couple as just a girl and a guy instead yeah. of two guys? I'm not Rappaport. I'm not Rappaport. Um, <laughs> no, uh, we so... could call Pete Burke. He could, he could direct us. <laughs> direct us in the odd couple. Could you imagine? <laughs> It becomes uh, War of the Roses. We blow up <laughs> yeah, the whole totally. stage. Yeah. yeah. So, Jen, when did you do the app? Sorry to switch. When did you do the Apple TV, your limited series that you produced too? Mm -hmm. uh, what was it a called? year ago, right now. I was in La production. Last thing, the, last, the last thing he told me. The last thing he, the told, last me. Thing he told me out now on Apple TV Plus. It's out now. Um, Yes, it is out right now. We shot it a year ago here in LA with a sometime in Austin and sometime in Sausalito. How'd you like Austin? I love Austin. Austin's yeah. just what a beautiful city. Right. It's, it's so cool, fun. and then you have the everyone's drawn to the lake, and it's so it's nice. I, sorry, I just gotta say, just because uh, keep Austin weird. Anyway, <laughs> um, so <laughs> getting paid by the Chamber of Commerce there. People used to have those bumper stickers. I mean, I'm going, I'm really dating myself as an old. They Gen still Portland. do. It was Portland. They? Yeah, they still the bumper stickers are still a thing. Yeah. God, but good callback. So Great I'm job. I'm so old. Yeah. I'm <laughs> such an old. All my musical. I'm just like realized that I'm old. Jen, do any of the kids want to want to go into this business? Have, um, you, have you got a sense of it? I I think we may have one, but I don't know if that child knows it yet. So I'm not gonna. And how do you feel about that? <laughs> Will you be encouraging if and when oh, the light man. shines on him or her? What about you, Jason? What are you gonna do? I know. I I feel like Franny Franny's starting to get interested in directing, which is really exciting to me. That's really um, great. So we're like watching movies together and talking about all that stuff. It's kind of like how my dad and I were. Mm. Um, I know. And just like about a year ago, right? Or yeah, yeah. Ago, Franny was like, uh, oh. Maple, I think, is interested maybe in acting, but they're neither one is like you know frothing at the mouth, super passionate about it. I, I, I'm I'm not a big fan of kids going into this business only because you could spend all of that time studying for a career where if you're the best at it, you're guaranteed employment, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, and and this this is not that. Or any any form of the arts, pardon the term, uh, you know, it's also objective, you know? And um, so uh, I, I don't know. It's it's tough. It's a, it's a tough business to... Make a you big can't certainly to. can't say no if they become adults, and that's you know. Correct. Yeah, I'll be encouraging if they're overwhelmed with with right. uh, with with desire for it. But, but kid act, kids acting, little kids on set. I don't yeah. know. Well, that's yeah. the other weird part for me too. It's sort of heady, where you're trying to train yourself to be other people at a time when you're learning who you are. Yeah, Ooh, and it's it's kind of heady. Profound. Yeah, Truly. it would kind of messed me up a little bit. Yeah, that's, uh, I never thought of that. It's, it should Very be done true. a little bit later, I think. Do hmm. you feel like sometimes you like, am I a werewolf? Am, am I, I a werewolf? Also? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, listen, yeah. when I don't, when I don't shave, when I don't shave mm -hmm. every other day, it yeah. start or I let it's my nails like grow. Back. Yeah. 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 Just scrape the yeah. 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 No, it is a little schizophrenic, mm -hmm. definitely. <laughs> but yeah. um, well, thanks for bringing it down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's just take a break. <laughs> 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 oh, she dear. also told so that we're going down the Tignataro highlight reel. She just told this great story the other day. She went to a party, a bunch of people she didn't know, um, and she came out on the second story balcony and she just screamed down downstairs uh, to a bunch of party goers that she she didn't know they didn't know her. She just said, "Hey guys, sorry, excuse me. Hi, yeah, up here. I just want you guys to know I'm going to bed in like ten minutes, okay?" <laughs> and they just went back into the upstairs balcony. <laughs> and everybody's like looking at each other. She she and her friend. Well, she and her friend. Who was she talking about? This? She and her friend were doing what they call party bits, and yeah. she agreed to go to this party of uh, into the into this house of somebody she didn't know. And she would walk into the kitchen and just kind of like slap the wall and go like, hey guys, there are like six people in the kitchen. Hey guys, uh, I'm probably gonna turn it in about 10 minutes. <laughs> and they're all like, yeah. uh, 
<laughs> okay, but by the way, such a fucking... God, Sean, how fun is that? That is That's such a good bit. <laughs> I love what that. are the other bits? I want to know where bits. I want to do the thing where I want to drive around um, all the fancy neighborhoods in Los Angeles, like Beverly Hills and Bel Air, and then like drive up to like crews who are like gardening and stuff and go, hey guys, you can knock off for the day. Yeah. <laughs> and then drive and then just be like, yeah, don't worry it. about don't worry about the front guys. Yeah, don't worry about good. it. I talked to the guy, you guys are good to go. And start rapping crews who are doing work. As guys if you live there. Yeah, yeah, as if I live there. <laughs> That's a good party bit. Not right. bad. Mm -hmm. uh, Jen, what's the rest of yeah. your day today? You're, you're not yeah. you're not working on something, are you? Mm, no, I'm not working on anything. No, what is my day? Um, I'm gonna. You worked out at three a.m. Yeah. I I worked out this morning, and actually, I actually have a boxing session after this. <gasps> so I'm gonna oh, see, I work out all the time. There's I the box secret. at Pete's gym. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Is he still going in there? This is Pete mm -hmm. Berg. He yep, still goes Pete in Berg. there. Mm -hmm. Who's Pete Berg? Peter Berg is a is an actor director director oh, actor. Oh, Peter Berg. Yeah, I, I was like, um, Pete. and has been uh, has been ripped to shreds for years. Yeah, he has always an incredible shape. He, can, shit. he yeah. can really box. He yeah. can, right? I don't. Yeah, get he it. can really box. I boxed this morning, and then my uh, fourteen year old has just started boxing at a gym. I'd rather hmm. play rock 'em sock 'em. Okay. Oh, remember that? Remember? Remember yeah. that? Yeah. Sean, what time are you working out today? And be honest. <laughs> oh, God. Um. Probably look around. Look around. A couple <laughs> weeks. Look around. So wait, today's Tuesday. You have a show tonight, yeah? No, we're off Mondays and Tuesdays. So do you have two on Saturday, two on Sunday? We, I, we. Are you doing? We're seven? doing seven. Yeah. Gosh, that's nice. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait, what's normal? Eight. 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 And and where's the eighth show on a on a Tuesday two night? Wednesday. Tuesday. Yeah. It would normally be tonight, Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. But we don't. Like That's so really fun. nice. It's really nice. Actually, feels like you have a weekend. Jen, what are you and yeah. Jason? What are you and Jason? When you and Jason do your show and on Broadway, when you guys move to New York, yeah, uh, let Jason get into the deal because you guys will be on four shows a week. Oh, I know. We're gonna yeah. do only matinees. That's yeah. it. Hey, I heard. I don't know if this is true, but I heard Dolly Parton. Somebody came up to Dolly Parton and asked her if they wanted. She wanted to do some big musical. I can't remember the name of it. And she said, "Sure, I'll do four shows a week." They're like, "No." Wouldn't you do? Wouldn't you say yes, yes. to Dolly Parton? Yes, doing, Dolly who Parton. Who wouldn't buy a ticket, even if yeah. it's four shows a week? Yeah, I would I buy know. a ticket for the show I don't go to just to have the ticket to go to Dolly. Yeah, no, she, what, did you ever go to Dollywood? She, is that no, West Virginia? No, no it's in, in um, Tennessee. It's in Tennessee. Oh. It is so. It's so great. All the rocks have Dolly music playing sure. Dolly's music everywhere you go. Rocks have speakers. Those rocks have speakers. It was the first time I'd ever seen that, and I was like. The Ooh. Rocks are singing Dolly Parton. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I took my grandmother, Exie Mae, and I hoisted her up over a, like a, a merry-go-round horse. And I just, I can't believe I did it now, thinking back. Like, I'm so glad I didn't break that little lady. But Exie Mae was in heaven. All right, so after boxing today, where there's then, I would imagine you're going to pick up at least one of those kids. Well, yeah, I've got to pick up some kids. I have um, this little company called Once Upon a Farm, Yes. Is, yes. Yeah. So tell us yes. what that. Wait, tell people I don't, what that don't tell me about that. I don't know about that. Oh, it's it's actually it's awesome. It is um, this all super clean, super organic kids and babies food, and mm -hmm. it is um, pureed and it's cold pressed, so it's not it's not like garbage. Yeah, it's not garbage. There's no sugar added. There's yeah. nothing added. It's just pure I would eat goodness. all of that, but I would put the sugar in it. Yeah, sure. You would. You actually you don't need it because it's all fresh and it's not cooked down, so it he has to be. He loves sweet and low, though. He just texture. loves sweet and low on everything. <laughs> you, you could add a little sweet and low if you want. Yeah, you put it in a blender, Sean. Sean put business. it in a blender, and then he'd add, he'd add some Reese's peanut butter. Go. What is it? <laughs> this is sweet and low, right? Oh, there's there. sweet. Oh, oh, that's sweet Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Scotty. Good to see you. <laughs> Sweet and low. That's a great nickname for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're gonna Hi, go. Scotty. You're gonna go and work. So on... I have that. I have that stuff today. I have calls and stuff like that. All and right, but I'll wait. Let's get. Kids. I want trying to get to the evening time, and I want to know. I like do. I like asking this. What do you curl up and watch that you're a little bit embarrassed that you're watching? Yeah. Oh, um, well, not I because it's a bad I show, still but just watch, because. It's... I mean, I still watch Seinfeld. Pretty much oh. all the time, but that's nothing to be embarrassed about. No. It's just that I've seen them all a thousand. Um, but I'm watching Diplomat. Oh, I you heard are Carrie great. Russell. Yeah, we love Carrie. Oh, I heard that's really love good. Her. Yeah, yeah. Love Carrie. She's yeah, yeah. So that's on Felicity. Uh, what's so that on the mean. Amazon? Netflix. It's on the Netflix. On the mm -hmm. Netflix. Very nice. Um, the kids and I are about to start jury duty. We just need to get someone oh, in the house I... past AP exams, and then 
we're going to watch I Jerry hear Duty. that's good. Yeah, that's got really uh, good. Jury Duty is a show? Yeah, it's James. Marsden. Jim, James Marsden. James Marsden. Oh. That's right. Now, it's he's really the good. only one Sean, who knows it. what's going on no. and the rest don't. No, they don't? all know. He's just playing himself as like a, he's playing a bratty actor. Right. He was prepping for it. We shot Party Down together at the beginning of last year and right. he was getting ready for it. And he was like, what am I going into? This is, this is going to be a disaster. And is it more, is it ethically okay to be messing with this person? And there's one person who thinks he's just part of a documentary and has no idea that a everyone non-actor. else is in. Yeah. They, is yeah, in they just think sounds really cool. They just think yeah. they're on jury duty. He, he yes. thinks that they're making a documentary about this uh, particular trial and he's the yeah. only person and everything else is made up. Yes. Oh, wow. Someone doesn't know. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It's, There's it's, so much to watch. And that's yeah. good for so kids, kids see. and adults. Yes? I mean, I don't know that it's appropriate for kids, but I feel like my kids have probably been exposed to plenty. Even <laughs> Sam's watching the um, uh, R-rated movies now? My 11-year-old um, is at times. I, yeah, I think, I think from time to time. Yeah, it squeaks mm-hmm. through there. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Now, now, do you curse in front of the kids? I find that I'm starting to get very, very loose very with all of that. Very loosey-goosey. Yeah. I yeah. don't. Yeah. Because on purpose, I, or you just don't curse. Do you that curse? Much? Do you curse a lot? You don't seem like you do. Um, I learned to curse. I yeah, would. I didn't <laughs> used to, but I can. Yeah. Um, and I do. I mean, maybe occasionally something slips out, but I really don't want them to curse in front of me because I feel like yeah, you need to know that there are grownups you talk a certain way around or that you yeah. behave a certain way around, and it might as well be me. So yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. I really love that. You're yeah. a good mom. Yeah, I don't know. Good really good mom. mom. You know what you're doing. Uh, and you also have a busy day, and we've taken up way too much yeah. of your time. Yeah. Way too much of you your have, time. You have so many things to go do, more important than talking to us. Um, but, <laughs> but what an absolute delight to meet you. started our day with a nice, yeah, my God. big shot of sunshine. Yeah. 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 You know? Thank you, Jen. So At pleasant. least I didn't show you my bad hair. I let's can't see, let's take a look. Yeah, I can't believe that it's any. How can it be bad? It's long. Let's take a look. We're we're gonna. Is that a scrunchie on your? Do you have a scrunchie on on your wrist? Yeah, you got to be Um, ready. Yeah, I like to do a scrunchie. I'm always doing scrunchie bits. Oh yeah, look at it. Watch him do a scrunchie (laughs) bit, and he just yeah, I think my hair. And then he's ready to go. Uh, And I'm ready to go. Thank you for that. Okay. And then stretch out the ponytail. You stretch it out. No, I back. always take, yeah, you do this. I'm always doing this with it, you know, like you're doing <laughs> this. And then get it. Hey, guys, um, did anybody see where I parked? <laughs> where my hair, where I left my hair spray. <laughs> I love when, she, I love Sean will pick up somebody's purse uh, at a party Always. and just throw it over your shoulder. You go, guys, anybody need anything from CVS? Yeah, I'm just, run, I'm just running to CVS. And which way is out? Is it that way? Is, how do I get anytime, out of here? Also, anytime there's a candle anywhere on a table, whatever, yep. Sean always grabs the candle and then he... He'll shield like the this. wind from the front of it. Shields the wind. And I go, like, guys, this the way bathroom, guess. which way is guys, the bathroom? Which way is the bathroom? <laughs> Stick the dumbest bit. Candles. Same um, bit. We've, now, we've now truly wasted your time. I've learned uh, so yeah. much. Thank you, guys. Sorry, Jen. No, we Thank you, Jennifer Garner. We so love you. you. Thank all. you, Jennifer Garner. Love you, Jennifer. Adore all of you. Nice to meet you. Adore you. Last thing Hi, he honey. told me on Apple Plus with Jennifer Garner. Go and watch it immediately. Yeah. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Bye, Jen. Bye. <laughs> guys, how do you feel? I feel like I got a. I got a. I got a personality shower. Yeah, I you feel know, better. If I'm all clean. Speaking to a flower who is yeah. just yeah. Yeah. easy, breezy, f- lovely, you know, gorgeous, fun, funny, talented. Right in the day. She made me feel better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She yeah. made the day better. You know, I, I IMDb'd her page while we were talking. It's unbelievable. Like, she has 8,000 credits. Yeah, she's been at it for quite some time. Like, remember 13 Going on 30, which we didn't even ask her about? Yes, 13 Going on 30. That was the movie I was thinking about. She did with Ruffalo, right? I think so, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, Wait, what about see. dresses? Wasn't there a bunch of dresses? Did she do that one? 19 uh, dresses? 21 no. dresses? I don't know. 17, no. 25 dresses. No, that was... Remember she was in Dallas Buyers Club with She was in Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, my God, she was. 13 going yeah. on 30. I'm pretty sure it was... Yes, a Ruffalo. The listener doesn't want to hear us going down there. her W... I am... A well, I just page. looked it up. I was like, oh, my God. She's, no, like, she's done she, so much, and she's always so... You're, I always feel like she's one of those people. You're whatever she's in, whether it's in a movie or on TV or at something or even on a commercial. You're always like, "Boy, I'm delighted to see Jen." Yeah, Garner. absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? yep. One of America's sweethearts. Absolutely. Even if, she, even if she's asking me what's in my wallet, is she's she's brightening up my commercial break. <laughs> yeah. It's know? true. Did she I do know. One of those? Yeah. yeah, she's she does a bunch of those things, and yeah. it's so it's so. 
delightful. And, and that's almost, I don't mean she's that. She's got I, that thing, that it thing that everybody talks about where you're like, you look at her, you're like, oh, exactly. well, she's I don't my want friend. To, I want to be friends with her. sound condescending. No, 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 no. I, yeah, you wanted like, I want to talk to Jennifer Garner. I feel like my day would feel better. Guess and what? We just did. Sure but enough, you know, but, did. But conversely, you know what would be awesome is to see her in some gnarly, dramatic part where she's just fucking ripping somebody Terrible. apart. Yeah. Just saying, you son of a bitch. You just, just yeah. unleashing. I wonder if she's, I bet she's got that. Dude, she knows cool how to do that. that. Man, why? Yeah. Well, it's just to see, you like to see an actor go from, you know, zero to 100, right? I don't know. Sometimes. Absolutely. I don't know Absolutely. if everybody needs to do everything to do the thing. Like, be good at the thing you're good at. I, well, put it this way. Can you, can you imagine her in a bad mood? No. no. Right? No. So wouldn't it be fun in, in a character, in a part, to see her just like. Yeah, I guess it'd be, so. It'd be like so, like, shocking. Yeah, right. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Like me, like like if you were, were to see me in a part, just being super nice and genuine to somebody, I wouldn't believe wouldn't it. That, I wouldn't yeah. believe it for a second. Well, but but but, but, but if you I was doing I mean? a good job, it would be I mean, nice they, to they'd see. give you the, I, an Oscar if you did that. Well, yeah. you'd, you'd immediately you'd get a lifetime achievement award for that. Well, no, no, yeah. that's her. That's her. <laughs> for, I wouldn't believe it. Yeah, I wouldn't believe <laughs> it. <laughs> you know what I mean. I would say, I I would say like when she when I see her. Here he comes. Oh boy! Here he Fuck comes. Sean. I, it's, Sean it's, can I, I can tell see you something? coming from a mile <laughs> so, away? Because you know why? Because it always starts. He sends up a can flare. I say, I, Here comes can the I, bye. Because if I find a friend, if if I find a friend, can I find her? Well, I never want. Whenever I, I see never, it. Scotty yeah. and I find a friend. I know. <laughs> well, sure. Wait a minute. Why don't we just? Why don't we just go back? Start again. <laughs> Why don't we just go back to saying goodbye? Why don't we just say, hey, what a great show. I'll see you guys later. Never happens. Bye. <laughs> Why don't we what? just no. do that? Wait. So, so, for five, for five, for five. <laughs> <laughs> so when I see Jennifer coming towards me, I always want to say hi. I never want to say oh. bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Yes. Smart. Yes. Smartless is 100% organic and artisanally handcrafted by Rob Armjarf, Bennett Barbaco, and Michael Grant Terry. Smart. Yes.